Welcome to the channel. I'm Nick, aka Dad. And I'm Addy, aka The Monkey. And if you're not a subscriber, we would love you to be a subscriber to our channel. So smash that subscribe button down below. And also, once you get to the end of the video, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up for us and share it out. You may have a friend or a family member that may find this information pretty useful. But in this video, we are going back to one of our old videos. It's a video we did about a year ago. It was the Fantic versus Aeromoto. And it got some mixed reviews from people. It's had a lot of views though. And we really pushed them by trying to pump up our 37 inch tall tires from about half the PSI. So we were running maybe about 18 pounds of pressure and wanted to see if they could get back up to 36 pounds and push them both, which we, I think we accomplished that. Mm -hmm. But in this video, we wanted to do something that pretty much everybody's gonna be using it for, and that's for their personal vehicles. And in this household, we have a minivan as well. So we wanted to show you pumping up just a regular passenger tire. We wanted to show how it does doing sports equipment like a basketball, and also how it does on a bicycle. This will show you the power of both of the units, plus what their batteries are capable of. So stick around because I'm not sure who's going to win, and it feels like there could be a surprise coming. Mm -hmm. We both have our favorites, but let's see how they stack up. So let's get started. Well, to start the test off, I've already deflated the tires on our minivan down to about four PSI, which is probably similar to what you'd have uh, on a vehicle that you're trying to get off the road and had a nail in it or something like that. Yeah. Um, actually, I just re you know repaired my sister's tire on her Jeep. It had a, a screw in it and took it out and it actually had four PSI left in it. Um, so thought we'd just use that. Uh, so I've deflated both front tires. Addie's going to start us off. We're going to use her Fantic, which she likes. And yes. just as a recap, there's a couple of cool things about the Fantic. It does come with its own bag. Um, it is a power cell as well to where you can use it to recharge uh, phones and, and flashlights and things like that. Also has a, a little bit longer hose than the Air Moto does. A really nice uh, LED light on it that's a, a little bit larger than yeah. what you have on the Air Moto. And as we showed you uh, in our previous video on these two, which we'll post up top here, um, the Fantic has a quite a bit larger battery on it. Um, it yes. lasts a lot longer. Um, it's a little bit more powerful. Uh, when we did the tests on our Bronco to air up from about 18 pounds up to 36 pounds of pressure, but we wanted to give you a real world example using our minivan, yeah. using a passenger tire. We're also going to do a test using a basketball and a bike tire just to show you the differences um, and where these two units really shine. So let's get started with the test with the Fantic on our minivan. All right, to start off with our Fantic here, we'll press and hold the power button, get it turned on. It is set for 36 PSI still, which is what's great about both these units. It's automatic, so we will get this connected. We have full batteries on both of them, and we'll time the Fantic first to see how long it takes, and then next we'll go over the Air Moto, go over some of its specs, and then do its test. So let's get started with this first test. All right, so we've got the Fantic right here. We've got the Air nozzle already connected you do want to make sure you connect your line first to the unit and then screw it onto the tire you don't want air coming out prematurely it's shown right now we've got five pounds of pressure in there so we're going to start our clock here as soon as we start the unit and So for the Fantic test, it was able to get from about that 5 PSI to 36 pounds, which is what's recommended on the door jam, in 8 minutes and 34 seconds. And we only lost a bar of power on it. So actually did really well. That tells me you could easily 
uh, do two or three tires probably if you were down around that four to five PSI only. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe even still have some power left for a cell phone to charge up to call somebody. Um, Another thing is, too, you're going to want a tire repair kit, especially if there's a nail or something in there. This makes it so much easier to take off the tire, repair it, or maybe you can still do it on the, on the vehicle. Um, sorry, our dogs are going a little bit crazy with uh, the mailman here. But, uh, but yeah, have a tire repair kit plus one of these really will help, and you don't have to wait for uh, AAA or some kind of tow service to come, which could take you hours to, to get them there. So... Now, let's talk about the Aeromoto and see how well it does. All right, so your Aeromoto, obviously a lot smaller unit. A um, couple things that are nice, you do have your little LED up here. It's a USB-C for charging. Um, again, we'll put the link up below or above Addy's head here on our previous video about these two units. It gives you a little bit more specifications on it. Um, but the nice thing is it's way more compact. The hose is right inside of it which just screws right in. Now the thing is, you can see, even when this is screwed in, it's a lot shorter than your Fantic. I mean, you're talking at least a foot. So that is one thing, it's just gonna dangle off your tire, depending on if your valve stem's up top, it's just gonna kinda hang off there. Yeah. It does have a really nice uh, screw on piece here to go right under the valve. Um, these, this is nice too because you do have a deflate button, which I'm not sure why you'd want to deflate. Maybe if you go over, um, but again, you set it and let it go. We'll connect it to our tire here and see how long it takes for us to go from the 4 to 5 PSI to the 36 recommended. So let's get started with the Airmoto. So we've connected the hose to the Airmoto unit, we've got it set for car. It is showing that it's only 5 PSI in the tire currently, so will be an equal test it looks like. Uh, and we've got it set for 36 PSI. So again, set it and forget it type of thing. I have my timer here. So we will see where we're at and go from there. Here we go. So the Aeromoto, obviously it shows not quite as powerful, did it in 21 minutes and 26 seconds. And it is flashing red for the battery. So um, it's compact design, is nice, but you sacrifice obviously power, battery size, things like that. Yeah. And we've had comments on the old video. We know guys that these are not suitable for airing up for off-road tires and that. I mean, it is an emergency situation, but on a passenger tire, I would have expected the Aeromoto to do a little bit better. Um, you pretty much have enough juice to do one tire. If you have a flat tire, it looks like. You, you might have a little bit left in, in the tank, um, but I'm pretty sure if we would have stretched us to needing 40 PSI on a full battery, um, I don't know if it would have done it or not. So, clear winner here, Aeromoto, or Aeromoto is a big loser here, Fantic. Big winner, still had three bars of power left, uh, filled it up in half the time. Um, yeah, more powerful, better, and everybody does talk about, well, there's plastic pistons in it. There's no way it's a plastic piston, guys, because we all know if you have a plastic piston in there, it's gonna melt. These yeah. things do get warm, so they're pretty well built for what they are. They're small little air compressors, and they come in handy when you need them. Um, to me, the Aeromoto right now uh, is better for the people who are needing them for bicycles and that, because yeah. I think it'd be easier to carry, obviously, uh, in our pouches uh, on our bicycles versus the Fantic. Um, the Fantic is great for vehicles, I would say, in my opinion. But we've got a basketball test we'll do next, and we'll see how we do. All right, so now we've got the Fantic. We've got it set 
for basketball. It's actually got some preset things on there, and the preset for the basketball is 8 PSI. We've got Eddie's basketball here that we have deflated <laughs> as much as possible, um, and it says it needs to be anywhere from, I think it says 7 to 8 on it. So this isn't fully charged, but we got done with the tire test, and we thought, you know what, we still got three bars left. We got the Air Moto charging. Let's see what we can do with this real quick and see how it goes. So, time for the basketball test. All right, so time for our basketball test. We will get the needle inserted. All right, let's see how we go. Awesome. Well, it went up to our eight PSI. Looks like it dropped off a little bit here, but did in 31 seconds. Um, it's pretty nice that it has the preset already for your eight PSI because it says it's from seven to nine is what it says. So it did a great job in just about 31 seconds. So let's see if the air motos charge up enough and we'll see what we can do with it. All right, so we've got enough charge, I think, on the Air Moto to give it a fair test. So we've got it set to the basketball logo and eight pounds again. So let's get started. Okay, it shut off because it didn't have enough juice and it took a minute and 45 seconds to get the 0.5 bar because it switched over to bar for some other reason. So we were still three tenths away. Um, so again, we haven't had to fill up the Fantic or charge the Fantic. So this is still going to the Fantic. So uh, yeah, I don't know if we even need to do, do another test. Mm -mm. Let's just wrap this video up. Hey, thanks for watching. We end up just wrapping this up because it would be unfair to the Fantic to just recharge the Air Moto all the way back up again. Um, we did check the basketball. It was pretty much fully inflated because uh, we checked it with the Fantic and the Fantic kicked on and kicked right off again um, to make sure. So yeah, it was full, um, but the Air Moto needs to be charged and the Fantic is doing just fine. So we're not even gonna do the bicycle test because it shows to me there's a pretty clear winner here. The Air Moto is not gonna be able to do the bicycle tire at this point without being recharged. I'm sure the Fantic will. It's still got three bars of power. So, and again, my opinion, the Fantic wins uh, because it's power, it's uh, battery size. There's so many things that are, are for it. Um, the one thing against it is the size. Yeah. You know, the Air Moto can easily be put into a glove box um, mm -hmm. out of the way, um, or on a bicycle, you could put it in your in your saddlebag easily, uh, an under seat bag, you could probably easily put it in there if you needed it, and it would fill up bicycle tires probably all the live long day. But if you're doing a car tire and then you're wanting to fill up a basketball, um, probably not gonna do it. Uh, we did check the pressures too on the tires. They were 36 on the Fantic. It filled it up to exactly what it said it would. Um, the Air Moto was about a pound off. It was showed uh, like 35, um, which I'm not going to fault at that. I mean, it is getting measurements back from the tire. Mm -hmm. So for personal use, not using it on an off-road vehicle, but my wife's minivan, my daughter's basketball, our bicycle tires, I give it to Fantic. Mm -hmm. um, for portability, Fantic goes in the back of our minivan very easily. Yeah. Um, Air Moto sits in my dad's truck. He uses it quite a bit, but at the end of the day, the Fantic has the bigger battery, a little bit more powerful, uh, gets the job done quicker, mm -hmm. and you still have juice left at the end of the day to do more. So, Fantic it is for us. We'll put links down below to both the Air Moto and Fantic. Maybe the size of the Air Moto works better for you and your lifestyle. Or maybe the Fantic is something you're looking at because of the more power, um, it's still portable, uh, and the battery lasts a long time, obviously. So, here we go. Down below, check them out. They're Amazon affiliate links. See if one of them works best for you. And we appreciate you watching, as always. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do so. We'd love for you to be here for future videos. And as always, have a blessed day. Bye.